Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm here with a haul, another crafty haul um, from a few different places. So I'm going to start off with the range that I popped into today. Um, and I've seen this big sty a few weeks ago and I thought, do I want to spend £7.49? I think it's normally, if you are to pull off the label, I can read through it, about £15. And I had it down to £7.49. And I sort of got into big styes again. Um, and so I thought I had I kept thinking about it and so today when we were over that way doing some other chores and things I decided to pick it up and you can see how it cuts out to make these flower petals. It says poinsettia but in my head it can be a whole variety of different flowers but here's one I did cut out in red. Oh hello, knocked something over. Um, so that's cute. It's not a felt fabric, it's like almost like a maybe a type of felt I don't know anyway some kind of fabric but yeah I like that and I can see if I'd done it in green as well it probably would look a bit poinsettia like um, and then I also used it combining with that um, stocking big sty it was not big as it was like to here what do they call these blue ones spellbinders sapphire that one's stocking um so combining it with that so it's got that um so it's got some really thick sort of I don't know if you call it cardboard I suppose to make it really stiff to make a decoration but the um little flowers on here so this was with this lovely sparkly fabric that I think I picked up in Hobbycraft a few years ago um and I just thought that would look nice hanging it's kind of a bit a bit of an alternative from the red and white I just want to do something a bit different and apologies I just say I can't remember for the lighting because it is um evening time but I wanted to do these so I could put everything away so there's that one so that one yeah 749 um and I will have more of a play with that as well then I also whilst I was there I picked up one of these glues so I saw somebody um haul this recently and I thought they're only 75p these tonic glue sticks I thought I want to know if they are any good and actually I thought it might be useful to have a glue stick because there are times when I'm um, just using other glue is not the best thing um so moving on from there i also popped in and i use these on that project so i'll show you this next these were in the works a whole pack of silver bells does it tell you how many you get it doesn't say but it feels like a good 20 or so and that's what i put in here because it's just perfect for those christmas projects and i had some bells but i had gold ones they're a bit smaller so for, for a pound that's a good price just a whole load of silver balls um I'll move on. So I don't want to move on to. Oh, what else did I get in the range? Ignoring the um, fact that I moved on there, so it works. In the range, I picked this up. I've seen other people haul this as well. This is the vellum design block and the 199 for 24 sheets. But I mentioned how I quite like vellum at the moment. And that one, I've still got this lawn fawn stamp. So the little critters look up at the stars. And I thought, well, that's going to go really nicely with that. And some of these will just look cute, cut out with different die cut shapes and that will do Valentine's Day and that'll just a cute cut out. There's also things that are like terrar terrariums. I can't remember how you, how you say that word, but um, yeah. And then that one would also kind of go with that set that I won in that prize. So there we go. I thought I would pick up one of those I've seen other people get jumping on the bandwagon a bit there. Um, and I was in Hobbycraft as well, and they had some more dies that were being sold off. They weren't in these nice plastic folders, either those alternate ones that I hauled a little while ago. I just put it in there, and I also attached the magnetic sheet. I do love these. If you're ever looking for some really nice plastic pockets, I just absolutely love with these alternate ones with the zip closure. Um, but that's another point altogether. But you get a whole load of different dies, and they were three pounds, so reduced from about ten to three. And three pounds is a good price. And I just thought, you, I know I've got loads of tag dies, but can you ever have enough tag dies? Well, you probably can, but I've kind of got some more. Here's just some of them cut out. So these little ones are really cute for sort of attaching on almost with a bigger tag. It's like a secondary tag. And I like the fact that there were some slightly different shapes in there, like that circle one. And this one's really cute that scalloped edge so a whole range and the bigger one which I think I whatever I did with that but I I did a project already using it but I can't remember where I put it but um yeah oh it's under here I 
just say as I move my lighting. So this one that I showed in another haul. So you can see there's that bigger one. So it's a good size. And there's that little one that I've used with a scalloped edge. So yeah, they were nice. Three pounds. Whoops. And while I was there, I saw this whole roll. Let's try and get it with better lighting. I'm not sure what the best way of doing that is. Whole roll of this glitter stiffened felt. And I think you get a metre of it. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know how much it is, but I'm kind of really tempted. And it turned out it's four pounds for this roll. So I'll show you how long it is. At a guess, I'd say about 50 centimetres, so over a foot. Uh, they had it in a range of different kind of Christmassy sort of sparkly colours. But once I got this home, I thought I really like this and I'm glad that I purchased that because it just cuts beautifully with dyes and it's just really pretty. So I've got the idea, I mean, this one's of a bow and it looks nice, even though you can see the insides, it's very, very neat with that kind of neat inside, but also to cut out, you know, words, like with a word die, that's not it, but, and that would obviously be too thin, that one, but some of the thicker ones, they would look really nice in that gold. So yeah, really happy with that. I might get some more of those. Um... So going on from there, this was an Amazon purchase because, a really bizarre purchase, because I managed to lose all my watercolours. They were together in a box. I had I had another set of these Prima ones um, and I had a different set and I had some watercolour pens and some gelatos and I put them in a box and I thought when I rearranged my craft room they would turn up. They've not turned up so I've absolutely no idea where they are and I was quite sad about that. So to cheer myself up I went on Amazon and these were £17.70 something. Um, and they had to come from America, so they took a bit of time getting here, but there we go. I know it seems like quite a lot to pay for watercolour, but I just, because I had the Prima one before, I knew that I liked this sort of style of set, and I knew I liked the colours. So I'll we'll open up and show you. So this is what they look like. They come in these cute little packets, which I've actually got some. So they come all wrapped up in these cute little packets, which... Um, I mean, you've got to pull them off saying confectionery because they're a bit like little sweets. And there we go. And that's what they look like. And the nice, really usable, bright colours. You can see I've already done the swatch sheet. So they're really nice, usable colours. hasn't got a black or a white. Um, but I felt I could use sort of my ink tents pencils or something as black and a white. Or try and find... I've been looking to try and find some little whatever you call it, little pans of individual watercolours. They don't do them in the range anymore. So I might have to go somewhere a bit more expensive to get a couple of black and white and a, a few other colours to fill it out. But yeah, that was my little sort of expensive purchase there. But I will definitely get some use. I haven't had time to do much with that yet, but that's exciting. Then from, well, this has all come over the space for a couple of weeks, not in one go. Then from the clearly besotted stamps, I picked up a few more bits in their sale because I just can't resist it. And they had this stamp set, which I had been looking at before when it wasn't in the sale. And I wanted because of cute strawberries. Um, and they had that and the stamp set in the sale, and they probably still do. Oh, it doesn't tell me on my list how much they were, but they were about £3 something each. So I picked that one up, the stamp and the dies. And I haven't had managed to make a card, but I have had a chance to stamp it out. And it's this kind of wreath, and then you get the, not kind of, well, it is a wreath, isn't it? And then you get the strawberries and the little flowers separately. So I need to have a real play around with this to get it looking a bit better. But um, that's sort of the idea. And I think with this sentiment and some pretty paper, that will look nice. So that's that one. And then this was also in the sale. And I'm starting to think about Christmas. So... Would you call that? Would you call that a wreath as well? I guess maybe you would. Maybe there's a better. I don't know what the set's actually called. It's called Be Merry. Um, so I got that one and I got the dies because they were also reduced down to about three pounds something. I think they're normally five pounds for these little sets. And this is what this one looks like. So I'd say it's probably that way up, isn't it? It says that bow. I did stamp the. See how cute these little pine cones are. That's it, tiny and itty. And the colour Larry. I did one in one shade of brown and one in another shade of brown. And um, because I was running short of time, I just stuck them both on there. But if I did this again, I would obviously try and get them in the same shades of brown. But I like the way it's just sort of 
stamp layer. It's quite simple, basic stamp layering, but it's quite effective. And that would look nice as well on a Christmas card. And the last one I picked up wasn't in the sale, but it's one that I've been wanting for a while. It seems quite simple, the over the rainbow. But, um, oh, hello. But I just thought it was really cute. And this is me having a first attempt. I need to have a better attempt at stamping it on all the different colours because you see I've missed some white gaps. But I just imagine that with some, not really with that sentiment, it's the only sentiment I've got lying around. Um, some lovely sort of image, not that because it's Christmas, but some cute little stamped image. All my stamped images are miles away, but we could imagine <laughs> a scary massive cat coming in front. But it would be cute as a background image, you know what I mean. So that was four ninety five. I think they do for those stamps for that. So that's what I picked up from Clearly Besotted. And then I thought I would chuck in um, a little extra because I also went to some charity shops today, which is sort of the equivalent of American thrift stores. And I love charity shop shopping. And there are some near me that do craft stuff. And I went in and picked these ones up for £1.50. And they are photopolymer stamps. I'm not saying I would necessarily have bought new, but uh, you get them out of hard. Hello, cat. You're doing something crazy. So, Kirsty Wiseman. Don't really know. Not familiar with that name, but yeah. Anyway, first of all, you can see that they're they're lovely photopolymers. So they're good quality. So, quite sort of childlike images, which would be cute for a child's card. Obviously, I do do children's cards and things for children. Um, but also, I did wonder whether they would make, I don't know, something else for children playing cards something i need to have a think about it but it just made me think that kind of simple image and that kind of those signs as well I just sort of had some ideas starting to come into my head about what i might do with that and for one pound fifty for good stamps i couldn't let it go then i picked up some i'm not sure if my phone is going to stop but we will see some oil pastels because these were two pounds fifty and they're daily roundy which is reasonable and they look like they've never been used and I thought I'm going to have a little play for £2.50 because that's a bargain price and if I don't really get into pastels I'm going to donate it to the children at school because they actually haven't got any pastels so um, they will benefit from that. And um, what else did I get? Not that one. So I also saw this set of paper. Let's open it up. It was a pound. It's in the charity shop for this wadge of paper but what sort of drew me in see if I can show you is it has all these really cute um, Paddington bear images and I don't know what I'm going to do with them I imagine some kind of sort of layering picture maybe but they're just really cute so I'm not really sure that the little people in my life are into Paddington bear but maybe I can convert them that way yeah there's a whole load and they're really sweet so i've no idea where these came from if you know do let me know i'll be interested but um yeah i like them for a pound something a bit different so i picked up that and i think we're coming on last but to me not least really excited by this one it's very random but for two pounds fifty there's all this let's get a better I'll get better lighting on this feather trim so there must be about a meter of it and it all smells all vintage and i've no idea what i'm going to make with this but look how beautiful this is so you can see so it would be a lot more if you bought this in the shop and you know it brand new so it's really nice to get it second hand and it kind of looks a bit homemade but that doesn't bother me in any way shape or form that almost just makes me like it even more so i absolutely love it i've no idea what i'm going to do with this yet but i really like it so for two pounds fifty i kind of want to hoard it as well i love it when you find those kind of exciting finds in charity shops and places where you've really hunted for them so i'm in love with that if you've got any great ideas for making with this it's obviously angel wings i don't need any angel wings but um any the angel any other angel projects you might have do share them with me um and yeah, I'll just be stroking this, as I say. I will um I will see you very soon. Bye.